Well, the FBI says the DNA tests reveal that the young man who claimed to be Timothy Pitson is not actually him. He turned out to be a 23-year-old man with a criminal history. And joining us now is Jonathan Rinney. He is that man's younger brother. Jonathan, thank you so much for being with us this morning to try to shed some light on what your older brother did. We really appreciate you joining us here on the phone. Um, can you tell us why would your brother do this? Honestly, I do not know. I do not know why he would do anything like this. Tell us about the history, because it's not the first time. I mean, it's the first time it sounds like that he's done it to this dramatic level, but he has claimed other identities, even yours, in the past. Yes, he's used my identity to, um, pass, I don't know if he was trying to weasel his way out of the traffic stop, but it did more harm than good. You say that he's been and, doing uh, stupid stuff for as long as you can remember, such as? Yes. Um, he was in and out of jail a lot while we were kids getting into random little bouts of trouble, fights at home. He was placed on juvenile probation, and then he just continuously violated his probation. Hmm. Um, is there a mental health component? Is your, is your brother, do you know his history with mental illness? Yes, he, he, has, a, he has Asperger's syndrome and he has bipolar disorder, but still he should have the rational thinking to not do something like this because I don't want to group that certain like group of people like people with autism, bipolar disorder, ADHD into a group of somebody who would do something like this because that's just going to stigmatize that syndrome as oh they're going to break the law and go out and get in trouble but that's not the case you know. Well we totally agree just, I mean obviously there are so many people with Asperger's or who are bipolar, who are yeah. high functioning people and who are obviously um, not criminals. And, and so exactly. tell I mean, of course, and I really appreciate you making that point and I think that we need to emphasize it, but tell me where you were when you heard the news about what happened with your brother and what your thoughts were. I was at work. I got a call from somebody who said that they'd be able to deflect any media attention that I received and when I got the call, I didn't, I didn't believe the guy at all. I was like, what do you mean, media attention? He, he essentially told me, he's like, dude, you got a big storm coming. And I was like, what are you talking about? And I, I almost hung up on him, but I, I let him talk, and he told me what happened, and I just couldn't believe it. And then five minutes after I got off the phone with him, I just started receiving call after call after call. And I was at work, so I, just, I did my best to ignore it. Mm. When's the last time you saw your brother or talked to him? I haven't spoken to him in three, four years. And why is that? Why, why has there been a rift between you? Um, when we were living together with my mom, he was just pushing her to her breaking point. She's, she's not in the best of health herself, mental health-wise. And... Um, he, he just kept pushing her to a breaking point and breaking point, and then one day he just finally walked out the door and never came back. It's hard not to think about the um, Pitson family and how heartbreaking this has been for them. They had, oh. obviously, their hopes dashed because they thought that maybe somehow this was their seven-year-old relative coming back now. Mm -hmm. Um, do you know why your brother would have zeroed in on this case? Was this a case he ever knew about or talked about? Not to my knowledge. I didn't know about the case in detail until yesterday. I mean, and what does it say that he could perpetrate such a cruel hoax? I, I'm sorry, can you repeat the question? Well, I mean, what, does it, what do you think it says about your brother that he could perpetrate a cruel hoax like this? He's a terrible person. Well, Jonathan Rini, I know it's not easy to talk about all of this. I know that you have been through an ordeal in the past 24 hours because of this. We really appreciate you giving us some insight into your brother's oh, I mean, mindset. It's nothing that's happened to me compares to what that family has been going through right now. So I'm more than happy to talk about my brother. Thanks. Thank you, Jonathan. It helps us understand him better. Thank you very much. No problem. I, I got to say good on him for being crystal clear.
that his thoughts are with the family that had to go through this more than anything else. Absolutely, and I think that he does paint a really interesting um, picture of who his brother was even before this.